Good month. I was just given notice, you know, all I do is run around here. And I do like finance and I try to take care of things for uh, everybody else. I try to keep everybody working. I try to keep everybody doing their thing. And I've noticed everywhere I've gone, they have this uh, Pride Month going on. So I guess it's a Pride Month, LGBTQ Pride Month. The whole month. Veterans get a day. Died by the hundreds of thousands. Marines get a day. Moms get a day. Many of them die bearing children, not as many as they used to, and then they sacrifice a big chunk of their life. They get a day. Dead soldiers who gave the ultimate price and laid the ultimate thing upon the mantle of freedom. They get a day, but gay pride gets a month. They get a whole month, and within the day, there are special days. So I was told today's fag day, and we're doing a fag day knife. So I don't know what the deal is. I, don't, I didn't even know you could say fag anymore, but apparently there's fag day. And so we did a fag day knife. Um, I had to go out there and talk to the guys. Uh, I was just told about it this morning, so I'm doing this video today. We're trying to be inclusive. I don't know why. Like, gay people already really like me. Especially gay men, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so here today, in celebration of Fag Day, we've put together a really saucy knife. It's not sexy, it's saucy. And um, hopefully you guys will like it. Now, there's a lot of discussion about, you know, what makes a knife gay. So I talked with the guys and I talked to the gals a little bit and I was like, I'm trying to do a thing. So I don't even know why it's fag day because you've got LGBTQ. It should be LGFBTQ, like gay, fag, bi, like LGBTF. I don't know, but these colloquialisms, I'm confused. I don't even know who's a goddamn woman anymore or a man. I keep to myself. But in celebration of fag day, I said, well... We could do something kind of rainbowy, but if I do rainbowy, that includes everybody. And since the entire LGBTQ group uh, gets a rainbow month, uh, we thought we'd do something just for gays. Now, for some reason, when I think of fags, I think of dudes. I don't think of women. So it, I am, I'm sorry that some sort of sexist fag bias that I have. I didn't even know I had it. But I was trying to work that out. I didn't even know how to work that out. So I talked to the guys, like, what qualifies something as a fag knife? Well, it's a, maybe it's purple. Okay. Maybe um, it's pointy, so you can really stick it in somebody. Uh, maybe it's soft, so if you have to hide it up your ass, you can. What's this going on? Oh, this message is held for review. <laughs> Somebody must be saying something. So we did a fag knife, and I want you guys to see this knife. It's really beautiful. And if you are hitting for the other team, well, happy uh, awareness month. I've always known about you. Yeah, I didn't know you got a whole month, but you got a month now, and... I guess they got a day within the month, a subcategory. That's like phylum and subphylum of the species. So uh, there's the LGBTQ crowd, and then there's the subphylum as fags within that group. I've heard it, heard it call each other fags. Anyways, we did a, um, well, we did this. Nosferatu dagger. And I had him soften it down because you could shove this right up your ass if you needed to hide it because you were going to go to jail or get patted down really heavily. It's very, very soft and just turn it a really, really gay hue of purple or if you're into Batman, the Joker. So this is our knife and celebration of Fag Day. And I hope you guys enjoy it. It's sexy. Um, I think this knife, what's the price on this? I'm shooting a live video right, right now. Right. Are you doing a live right now? 
Yeah, I'm live right now. I mean, what's up? I think you're a little bit confused, though. Um, it's actually Flag Day. What? Like the flag. This is a live video. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Where you get your info from? It's Flag Day. Here, show off this knife. Well, this doesn't go for Flag Day. We'll show off this knife. That's why I brought this. Sorry, guys. We have a little announcement. It was not Fag Day. It's Flag Day. We got... I didn't hear that right this morning. You know, I got in early, and I'm telling you, I was dopey today. You know, my truck is still at the shop. I'm glad you were watching this because I would have gone down as a f uh, fag day knife instead of it being flag day. It's flag day. Okay, <laughs> everything I just said, if you do want that purple knife so you can shove it up your ass, stick it in your pocket, or scare uh, guys out at the club when you're in the bathroom, doesn't matter to me at all. You can jump right on that knife if you want. The price is $905. Here's what you would do. Call up the shop at 623-249-4506. Uh, Ask for Lindsay or Lindsay or Jeff. And tell them you're interested in the inappropriately named Fag Day knife. Um, just thought it would be kind of funny. Now, oh my God, this is Lawrence Mullaney on here. What's up, Lawrence? Hey, Lawrence. Oh, bye, Lawrence. <laughs> bye, Lawrence. No, there's little times up. Oh, okay. All right, back to our uh, inappropriately scheduled program. We're now on to Flag Day. It's Flag Day. So in remembrance of the flag, now this is a non-issued flag, but I thank you, Lindsay. That would have been so embarrassing if I'd have let a live video called Fag Day, and I'm going to have to go in and change the title at some point. I'm, I know. I thought you said, I thought you guys said Fag Day this morning. I was like, and all I've seen is pride on every goddamn door and window in every store I've been in the last Not week and a half. I'm pretty sure we did say Fag Day earlier. Oh, my God. You guys... <laughs> You guys, they punked me, and I just did a fag day video. Hey, listen, to all my fags out there, I am a, I apologize, but the, I, I'm a man of my word. If you want that Joker purple knife, if that, that gay pride, it's almost iridescently. It's so iridescent when you open it up, glitter shoots out. That's how gay that knife is. If you do want that knife, it's sexy. It's uh, saucy. Uh, I was I had to put together for fag day. <laughs> That's the kind of Neanderthal I am. I'm like, fag day. They're like, yeah, it's today. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll do a video later. All right. Off the flag day, we did a 187 drop point. <laughs> Apparently, they had this made for me. And this has got a really subtle flag ghosted into it, a waving flag. Um, the lines have been cut out and then anodized. It is really sexy. This is one of the best deals in the American handmade knife market that exists. The D2, it's one of my original, uh, my original kind of more affordable line of my handmade knives. Hope you guys dig this. It's got flame opposing hardware on a blackout body and blade. Just a sexy knife for dun dun dun. Flag day, <laughs> not fag day, flag day. I must be some kind of fucking retard. <laughs> fag day, that was hilarious. Um, listen, but I don't want anybody to feel like we do bait and switch. So if anybody out there is, uh, you know, wants to buy the misnamed fag day knife, please call up and we'll take care of you. Um, I didn't ask... Listen, if you want this 187 drop point that's sexy and blacked out, um, call up the Shactory. It's 623-249-4506. Ask for Lindsay, Lindsay, or Jeff, and uh, you can get this knife and uh, sport it. It's immediately available and rip it out your way. You know, uh, the world is too serious. It's just too serious. There are serious things going on around the world and Americans are yelling at each other and calling each other stupid names and yelling about racism. And you know what they're not doing in China while they're whooping our ass at almost everything? They're not yelling racist or China, uh, racist or uh, a bigot or, uh, they're not having any of those arguments. They're not yelling that they don't care. And if you s c call, uh, I, if you, cast aspersions on them. They're like, oh, I don't care. I'm working. I'm going to get ahead of you. I'm going to outwork you. Oh, call me whatever you want. I'm going to work. And they're going to win. And while we're over here painting rainbows with our fingers in our own feces, it is the fall of Rome. 
Smoke on the horizon, ladies and gentlemen. It's the fall of Rome. We teeter. We are one mistake, one misjudgment in a theater of war in Eastern Europe. We are one mistake away from a nuclear incident. We're one mistake, one button, one rogue, one irate lunatic leader. We're one incident away from somebody flying in the wrong airspace and shooting down a jet liner and then a missile gets fired and then all hell breaks loose. We're one thing away. It's the closest in my entire adult life, in my entire life, to being on the brink of absolute catastrophe. We got a president sitting in a White House that there appears to be ample evidence he's been getting bribed by the Chinese Communist Party for at least 10 years. His family's in it. His son is in it. Everybody in the Biden organization is in it. And nary a fucking word anywhere about it. Nothing. All there is is the indictment of a president who has the top highest security and the right to declassify at will about a bunch of documents at his private residence. The same president sitting in a White House had documents on the floor of his garage where he keeps his Corvette. There's a double standard here that stinks a mile high. Everybody knows it. Whether you are for or against Trump, you cannot be for the persecution of our politicians. You can't, you can't persecute your political enemies. You can't weaponize the government against your adversaries. I don't care if you hate the guy. I don't care if you hate his style. When you start this, you can't put the genie back in the bottle, folks. On Flag Day, you know what I'd like to remember? I'd like to remember the founding fathers, the 13 stars and stripes for the original 13 colonies, uh, 13 red and white stripes for the original 13 colonies. The stars in a circle to represent a new constellation in the sky. It was a shining hope on the hill. It was an idea of the new world where a man could raise himself up above his birthright and create his own place in the world, his own station, his own destiny. It was the new world, and it's still the new world. It was the shining city on the hill that everyone aspired to and wished they could do. It was the place, one of the few on earth, that fought and stole and took and claimed its freedom as a right of birth and God. It's the only country on earth that killed a quarter million of its citizens to collectively get rid of Slavery, which was global and had existed for thousands of years. It's really nice when a dictator or a king gets rid of slavery, when everyone is a serf or a peasant in service of the king. It's nice when they get rid of it. It's really clean. No other population raised up and killed a quarter million of itself fighting for the right thing. Pretty awesome. I'm going to imagine on Flag Day the young men that went ashore at Normandy. I'm going to imagine on Flag Day the young men at Valley Forge. One in three had socks. One in three had a pair of shoes. And there were three men to every blanket. You do the math. Staying in pup tents in the snow. I'm going to imagine them on Flag Day. On Flag Day, I'm going to imagine young men and women these days standing posts around the world. On Flag Day, I'm going to imagine soldiers training to fight our adversaries and our enemies, not doing cultural awareness classes. I'm going to imagine sailors, Marines, airmen, Coast Guardmen, not taking gender awareness and trans bias courses, instead learning how to sight in on the enemy and bear down and smite them. 
So to all of you servicemen who primarily work at smiting the enemy, I'm thinking of you today. And for those of you who are working in cyber warfare, I give you my nod. But you're not putting your blood and you're not putting your bones in front of a bullet. So I appreciate your good work. My hat's off to you. They might have a slightly different uniform for you, and I think they do. No disrespect. There is no greater sacrifice than trading your life for strangers who are your countrymen. When a father or a mother gives up their life for your children, you go, I hope I would do the same. That seems right. When a young 19-year-old young man gives up his life for another young 19-year-old or 20-year-old or 18-year-old young man they just met a month ago, they end up in combat and he gives up his life for his countrymen, his comrade, a virtual fucking stranger. It is the greatest valor there is. 19 years well lived. I'll think of him on flag day. I will not think of politicians. I will not think of gay pride. I will not think of trans awareness or pride month or African American month. On flag day, I just think about a bunch of young men and these days young men and women who for centuries now have stood in the line of bullets headed our way and done their job. That's what the flag represents to guys like me. So when you think we're old and anachronistic, backwards looking racist turds, we're really not. We value the ultimate sacrifice, which is laying yourself down on the mantle of freedom for those around you. There is no greater thing. And I don't know if I had the medal for it, I got to the closest place I could get to it and I never had the pressure cooker dropped upon me to have to make that decision and I'm glad I didn't have to. But that's what I think about on Flag Day and that's why the flag is so important and so symbolic to so many of us. It's symbolic of those 13 colonies and the original signers of the declaration. I was talking to somebody the other day and they said, I was cr criticizing the Chinese population. And they said, oh, it's dangerous to speak up. You could be killed or deleted. And I go, it's always been dangerous to say you're free against the dictatorial regime. All the signers of the Declaration of Independence that we lost the war for independence, all would have been hung as insurrectionists. Freedom is not free. And the symbols that we carry and the symbols that we hang up they have more meaning than the flag and the ink, the material and the ink. So maybe we can think about that on flag day and no disrespect intended in any way, shape or form to my American citizens who have alternate sexual or dressing desires. Good for you. I wish you well and I wish you a safe and long life I also say enough's a goddamn enough. You know, we should have a month for the working class. We should have a month for truckers because you couldn't get your size 16 Christian Louboutin knockoff pumps at your tranny store in San Francisco without a trucker. We should have pilots month for our pilots who sit locked in cabins hour after hour flying us around because lunatic people will get in and kill them. They sit trapped in a little cockpit of an aircraft flying. I think we should have transportation month for the people who bring us our beef. They say in the United States, the average consumed product travels more than 500 miles by truck before it's consumed. That's an average. If it wasn't for truckers, you couldn't wipe your ass, buy a pair of glasses, or get a, a thing of carrots at the grocery store. So we've got Pride Month. I've been asking for Pride discounts everywhere. <laughs> it's hilarious. 
I'm proud my country collectively doesn't want to persecute people. I'm proud of that. But on Flag Day, I think about the symbol and what it represents. And it represents selflessness, sacrifice, and self-determination. That flag anywhere on planet Earth. I'll tell you what, I've been around the world in some scary places. When you see American flag up, you know I don't care where you are. There's a safe place at the bottom of that pole. Happy Flag Day, everybody.